Oh my I'm goodness gracious. There's no issue with that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I should anyone be, be surprised? <laughs> surprised? <laughs> Yo, here we go. With the Warriors losing? <laughs> How could you be surprised? Be evidently, much like Chris Broussard had more faith in Jordan Poole and Jonathan Kaminga than Steve Kerr did, he also had more faith in the Golden State Warriors. Now, why would you be surprised? <laughs> All year long, they were a 500 team, and they finished the playoffs a game under 500. Can we hear actually. it? Yeah, all year it. long. Can we hear it? All year time. long. They yeah. couldn't win on the road. Yeah. And they finished the playoffs with three straight road losses. All year long, they were a bad defensive team. All year long, they got nothing out of the young core that's supposed to be the two-track light years dynasty. All year long... They were drawing dead if Steph wasn't brilliant. And some smart people, while other smart people saw a few games of this series and said the Warriors are the better team, other Thoughts. smart people saw a few games of this series and said Steph's going to wear down. And so, listen, we all, even though, Wiles, what was my New Year's resolution? Oh, be less humble. Be less humble. Which uh, is and a baffling New Year's resolution. So I... You know, I am going to violate that for just a moment oh. because I'm going to try to be gracious. You've been violating. I'm going to try to be show. gracious <laughs> with my dear co-host Chris Broussard. I brought you oh. some oh. things that go. I thought you could use. First there of all, go. Wilds, what did we hear all about? Championship pedigree. Oh, no, what is this? So I brought you a 30-pound <laughs> bag <laughs> of championship, championship pedigree. pedigree. I'm not sure <laughs> what good it is, but I brought you some championship pedigree. <laughs> also, Brew. Oh, because God. I w saw you walking around the office today. That and I was like, oh, man, this poor guy's walking around with no toes. Oh. How's he going to walk around with no toes? I got you specially made insoles for a toeless man. So you can <laughs> slide those in there. To sell and for a toeless man. A toeless man. <laughs> and last but not least, and this is important, I have the official oh, wow. first things first bylaws here. I didn't it is know you quite, had a copy. Listen, it is quite the dense document. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's we're on I 250 read pages. Every loaf. Well, I, read over it. I scoured it since Friday evening to try to look for an off ramp for you from your disastrous Warriors pick. Now that we heard Steve Kerr say he didn't even believe yeah. they could win, I couldn't find you oh. an off ramp in the bylaws. <laughs> but maybe you can find yourself one. Oh, but I no. Know. No one should be surprised. It was obvious from the beginning what was going to happen here, Brew. I wish I knew we were bringing props. Well. Because my time is coming in about <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> but that said, surprise. Am I surprised that the Warriors lost to the only team in the NBA that has two top 10 players? That's true. I, I got to keep it real. No. Now. I did pick the Warriors to win. You seem that a little, is, that is a a little surprised. I did pick the Warriors to win. Here's why. Here's the proof that I'm not that su uh -oh. I'm surprised. When I was asked at the start of the playoffs, how many toes down were you yeah. on the Warriors <laughs> getting to the finals? Yeah. I gave an answer that yeah. brought glee. And frivolity <laughs> through on this panel. You laughed at me. Six. I said six. Yeah. yeah. I'm a six. I was a six. I'm and y'all dogged me. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're a six. That was analysis. <laughs> what happened in this series against anybody. the great yeah. LeBron James six. and the great Anthony Davis was within the purview of the other four toes. Okay. That so it was it was in there. I was like, look, I got the Warriors. I'm rocking with them. I do think they're better, but. Uh -huh. Nick, you know for years, what have I said? What? If LeBron and AD are ever healthy. Uh, oh, boy. Tough the to beat. Warrior, they, they'd be tough for the Warriors, because yeah. in particular because of their size. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now not only do, are your two best players big. LeBron's actually big in today's NBA. The Warriors didn't go small. They went tiny. Okay, well, so LeBron was like Carl Malone out there, all right? And then you put capable Role players around them, the guy you were ripping all year, Rob Palenka has done a yeoman's job. He did a great job. And you got Austin Reeves and D'Angelo Russell yeah. and, and Dennis yeah. Schroeder. Agreed. The Lakers are a tough Welcome team. Welcome to the season. The I Lakers, agree. The Lakers are a tough team. Congratulations to LeBron James, <laughs> Anthony Davis, all the rest. Of, and, and, Nick, I, I'm going to be humble. Oh. Congratulations that's to you. Too much. That's, the, that's the, not what the Can show I? Is. The wild. Hey, hey, I'm, yeah. I'm, are we saying I mean, here? He, he we, right. I mean, it Go depends. Ahead. You're going on like no. A I want to talk about Steph thing. for a moment. Okay. I want to talk about Steph because Steph 
had the most points ever scored in a game seven for two weeks. Yeah. And it cemented him as a top ten all-time guy. It put him on the heels of Magic Johnson. He was going to, you know, they You're were going to. You got him in the top ten? You're not sure. I, yeah, I mean, to me, it's it, he's clearly top 12, and it's really hard. Like, you, you, kicked, out, you kicked out, I think, Akeem and Wilt. Was it? And it was to, yeah. to get him in there. Had, and so it was wh- whatever it is, he's right there. Okay. Then we must have asked this question. How much of the Warriors losing the way they did? Because I know everyone's blaming Clay, And I know everyone's blaming Poole. And I know everyone's blaming everyone on the team. Steph in round one played at a level that they had to have to win. Steph in round two did not. Steph in round two was good, I but mean, he was – That's oh, very good. He well, was very good. He was – He was. Uh, with they this, were the lesser team. With this – hold on a second. With the, he, it's very good with these caveats. The swing game of the series, game four, he had two massive mistakes at the end. Right. A bad shot sure. and the turnover. Mm-hmm. Also, game four, he was – what those don't show you is the defensive numbers where he was hunted repeatedly. And that was what started to flip the control of the series. And the reason that I am bringing it up is because the discussion was, is he he the best player in basketball? After round one, that was the discussion. Giannis was out. It was, can Steph be the best player in basketball? And they just got rolled in game six where he was in game six. Not very good. But like, I, is, or is that or is that fair? I think we're gonna get to this, but I, I thought Steph was far from the problem in this. Series. You're right. At the I, end I of game four, at the end of game four, he had his issues. But Clay Thompson, who I I'm a big fan, he was on the belt list. Clay Thompson shot 25 percent, wasn't good, and averaged 10 points over the last four games. We were waiting for Game Six, Clay to erupt, and he never did. Jordan Poole was a no was show terrible. except for Game Five. Hey, I don't think Steph had it. This is like when LeBron was losing in those finals to Golden State. He I, was losing to a better team. I agree. And that's what happened here. Go ahead, Wiles. No, Steph? I, I want to just put the button. The, I, listen, I agree the that the Lakers were the better team. I don't agree that it was like when LeBron was losing because Le, LeBron in those finals played unimpeachably brilliantly. There was there, there was not – you can look at the box scores. You can look at the numbers. We also can remember them with I our mean, eyes. I mean, he was great in the – if, if you want to nitpick the 2015, he was fantastic. But what did he shoot? 2015, he shot 40? under 40%. Right. That was the but he, he was great, series. but we understood the circumstances. The circumstances. I, the, right. I just think we're in a weird spot with certain guys in the league where – when they are great, we talk about them in historical great terms as they deserve. And when they fall a little short, I was, I was told, and we'll get to it, this is the best Steph has ever been. This is the best Steph's ever been. You and, don't think that's arguable? Well, the, it, it, I think it, it raises arguable. some interesting questions, but you can go ahead, Wallace. Okay, let's move on to LeBron. There's a lot of confidence there now. Yeah. And a lot. It, it, for this game, there was a very interesting moment. Start of the fourth quarter. LeBron's in the game, and Mark Jackson says just kind of flippantly, if I'm LeBron, I'm playing this whole fourth quarter. And up to that moment, LeBron had sat for 48 seconds in the game. So what Mark Jackson was saying is, LeBron, in year 20, in game six, the expectation is play 47 of 48. And he would have, but they took everybody out at the end. And LeBron peaked at the end. That was LeBron's best game of the postseason. And it continues to show you that underestimating that guy is the worst bet in sports. We have seen Devin Booker play unbelievable, and then the usage and the wear and tear, and all of a sudden the final couple games around two, wore, wore out. KD, wore out. Steph had his worst game in the final game of the postseason. We, Embiid, worst game in the biggest moment. LeBron is finding a way to get better, and it's I understand, and they are correct, that this version of LeBron Brew is not vintage LeBron. But how good is this version of LeBron? We can show you his numbers for the postseason versus someone else's playoff numbers. In my eyes, those are almost identical. The other guy's averaging an assist more a game, but would you agree those are nearly identical, Brew? Yes, and okay. they won the series? That, the, oh, the, the guy on the, the guy on the right, guy. well, it's actually a whole playoff can, yes. career. Let's show who it is. Oh. So LeBron in year 20 worn down. All, he's now been minimized to just Larry Burke the previous best forward of all time when he retired. 
That's what it is. Hold on. That's, the, that's LeBron's Bird's is one series. No, and that's, Bird's LeBron, is, that's LeBron this season. LeBron these two in, series. In these playoffs. In these playoffs and, and then, Larry Bird's entire career. Larry Bird's postseason career. What, I, don't, I don't think that's a fair comparison. What do you now, mean? I think Bron is better than Bird. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying to say he's become – like, that's to me, that's at his, disrespectful to Larry Bird. Okay. Well, I, at, at LeBron – Because Bird didn't have to score. Bird never led the league in scoring. Yeah. I, he, he didn't have to do that. I wasn't him. trying to get us on a Larry Bird debate. My point is we have come to expect so much from him that – Mark Jackson can just flippantly say he should play the entire game. That he can, he, we all said this is the, or a lot of people said this is the best Steph's ever been. LeBron outplays him. In and one game? I in think the LeBron's series? better than the series. No, Absolutely. I, don't, I don't. Okay. okay he wasn't I, better than the series. LeBron I, led the series in points and assists. You, you LeBron Steph, shot better than, I mean, Steph led the series in points and assists. We, uh, we could show, Steph didn't have anybody equivalent of freaking Anthony Davis. So, so we could show their, their, their numbers, uh, Steph and LeBron. Steph's got him by one assist and two points. LeBron's got him by rebounding. LeBron's got him in field goal percentage. Yeah, by like and two obviously, assists, I believe. It, we got the it, I think we can show it. And obviously, LeBron was better defensively. So it was at least a, to a draw. No, it, 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 I mean, look, it, Steph, give Steph Anthony Davis the, and see how this works out. And give LeBron Kevon Looney. And I'm not trying to diss LeBron because, yeah, the assist, Steph averaged seven and a half, LeBron averaged five, five and a half, and the rebound's LeBron. And two more yep. points, two more. Th- My point, I want to talk about LeBron. Sure. LeBron was great. And, and all this, does he have anything left in the tank? I, I was so tired of people acting like LeBron wasn't balling in this series. We got to have a vintage LeBron game. You know what a vintage LeBron game is? A smartly played game right. that we I do what we have to do to win. 2015, Kyrie's gone. Kevin Love's gone. I'm going to handle the ball all the time. I'm going to shoot below 40%. Not that he was trying, but I'm going to take more shots than I'm used to taking because that's what it takes to win. LeBron is wise enough to watch this team and say, you know what? Austin Reeves is good. Yeah, he is. And he can do something with the ball. One thing I love about what I'm seeing with the Lakers – is Dennis Schroeder, Austin Reeves, Lonnie Walker, they are actually making their own plays. Yeah. We've never seen that many players around LeBron do it. We saw D-Wade do it, no other player on the Heat. We saw Kyrie do it, no other player on the Cavs. Even with, when they won in 2020, no one else. Like, it was almost like they're looking for permission from LeBron to make a play. Now he's empowered them, and he's still giving you 25 points a night. I think he's playing great. I think in game six, what he did was he fit in again, got everybody going, got his too. And as you said, when he had to, he put the ball in his hands and took over. But I just, I think people are underestimating how well LeBron's playing. You might be overestimating it if you think he outplays Steph, but I I think LeBron's playing great. I I think that if this series had been flipped – And the numbers were nearly – so, again, Steph's got him by two points or two points and two assists. LeBron's got him by two rebounds. LeBron's six points better in field goal percentage. They are tied in three-point percentage and essentially tied in free throw percentage. But three-point percentage, they shouldn't be tied. Well, they were tied. It was 33 33 versus 34. My apologies. A a, a (laughs) one point off in three-point percentage. And if in the swing game of the series, LeBron missed a bad shot, then missed another bad shot, and then had a chance to call timeout to get another shot and threw the ball over his head. I don't think people would be saying he played him to a draw. This wasn't a one-on-one game. LeBron had Anthony Davis by his side, just like Steph used to have Kevin Durant. I would never say Steph outplayed LeBron in those finals because he had Kevin freaking Durant. AD is playing the best defense in the league. He's giving you offense. You know, like, it wasn't one-on-one. Real quick. And they're way far different positions and sizes. But LeBron was, at the end of these games, turning it into a bit of one-on-one, hunting Steph on the defensive end, putting him in the pick and roll. But more importantly, we got a great, what do you call this, episode? We have a great episode well, of Wild's Weird and Wonderful Tweets right now. Did you? Also Wild's Wild, Wild, Wild Thoughts. thoughts. Hey, so, after the no, show, sorry, let's set Wild. aside five minutes. I'm Brew, I'll show you how to Brew, do it. Brew, you I'm, should I, I be following him. I know. I got to Because, start. Bad, man. listen, <laughs> let's show the tweet. And people think I'm going to be... It's probably a bad sign that's garbage time, and the guy the Warriors paid $128 million is still out there getting shots. Wilds, this was 
cogent analysis. Yes, it was. A good observation. Thank you. And spot on. I would have maybe added, and their other two lottery picks were out there with them too. See, there Kaminga you go. and Moody. I thought that was a great tweet. That's thought it. That was a great job. You had another great tweet, but I can't find it. Uh, and so I thought it was great. Well, I there thought you, go. you were wonderful. That's not really the, the crux of the segment. Well, I'm just trying. I have you. to put out cogent analysis, and you have to be like, that was No, that was good. good. It was of a course great it was point. They're all good. They're not all That's good. Like Bru, you should, I'm trying to get Brew to follow you. He's going to. Well, get out of his bag. always bad You know what? But this was a good one. More honey than vinegar, though. I'm just like, hey, if you want. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh, just keep looking. Yeah, I'll do it later. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.